What is up, buddy? My name is Valox, and I may look a bit blocky today. That is because we are in Minecraft, and you may even recognize everything that's going on behind me. May, you know, it looks a bit familiar. This is the Valley View Centre Mall, which you may recognize from the Return to Freddy series. Uh, this brand new one on my channel. You should really check that out if you haven't already. This is also recognized from the oldest view, which is Kane Pixel series, where this is also featured in. It is a real mall in uh, Dallas, Texas. So the goal today isn't just to look at the Valley View Center mall. No, the main thing that I want to do today is build the Return to Freddy's in Minecraft. You may remember I did actually react to a video where somebody had already done that, but included their own concepts and things and just made it a lot more fun. I want to build a direct recreation. I mean, who's going to know better than me? <laughs> and then I'll put obviously the link with the mod pack in the description below and you guys can play this for yourself. But you can see I've added like all the tables and chairs, just like the seating area around here, as well as one of the advertisement boards, which does say goodbye. Freddy's is closing. Thank you for the memories, which is obviously a reference to a sign that you see in the first episode while heading to Freddy's for the first time. But I've got all this to destroy, and what better way to do that other than with TNT and hopefully not destroy the actual mall itself, so this is going to be a bit worrying. So it's going to be a controlled demolition, and then hopefully we can get started, we'll spice up the exterior, and then we'll move on to the interior. That is the goal for today, but it will be in the description below for you to play, just as a nice little thank you. I really hope you enjoy the video, and by the end, I'll give a nice little tour. So, hey yeah, enjoy! <laughs> Okay, so currently I'm just trying to find a tile that would match. I'm using reference images here um, that I took earlier, but I'm just trying to find like some sort of brown tile that would work, and I'm not really, not really finding one. Okay, looks best. To be fair, that's not bad. That's definitely not it. That's textured. I don't know. They do have a sh like a shine, like as if they're tiles. I, I actually might go for the copper blocks here. I think we'll go for the copper because they've got that more orangey tone to them. So I'm sure that at some point in the future someone might create some sort of texture pack to do with the series or you know one of you lot after playing this map might go oh we can fix this up but I've had to use the Chuck E. Cheese logo because there is no FNAF logo I've tried I even searched online to see if I could find anything um, and then I just used this portrait of Freddy even though it's got like this background but it works it, it does the job everything's in place and you know what I'm happy with it. I think it looks quite good. And now I need to just finish up the other side just here. Okay, there we go. Now I fixed it. Okay. What do we think about this so far? I mean, you know, you've got the more. You can see the windows from here. you got one logo here. I'm, I'm actually really quite happy with this. I'm proud. This looks good. Especially considering, I, like I said before, I, I don't really build in Minecraft. This is something else. This is already looking real nice. It also got like the perfect red doors as well. Right. Well then. Let's keep going. Let's let's get this let's get this done.
Okay guys, it is now very late for me, it's like 4am and equally I have been working on this for about 4 hours now because I think I started at 11 so anyways, look, it's been, it's been a journey but it's time to showcase the finished map. So obviously we have, we're going we're gonna to start in the mall again as, as we did before but this time you can see we've got the whole Chuck E. Cheese. Um, obviously, as I mentioned before, we're using this sign because there are no Freddy Fazbear signs for some reason in the pack. But then again, I believe this pack is still in beta. Um, got those nice sun rays coming down. And it's just really cool to see into the building like this. The poster over there. Um, using the iron frames was quite a cool idea, the invisible ones, to make these. Because these literally look perfect. These look exactly like the one... Um, that I made in Blender. Okay. And here we are. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't speak properly. I am so tired, but I really wanted to showcase this. So we enter here. Got like the little, little check in booth. Uh, it's just got just, just so nice. Got the arcade sign. It does, in fact, glow. All the arcade machines. I don't think they work. As I mentioned before, guys, I'm brand new to this mod. I literally didn't even get time to check it out. So me building this was my first time even touching it, really. So you can see me messing around. But yeah, you got all the booze from the Chuck E. Cheese stuff, which is good, with some spilt drinks just to show the mess. We've got that. Um, oh, God. Was it Fruity Maze? Is that what it's called? And obviously Midnight Motorist. I do wish these turned on. Um, and it would also be too much to ask for the developers that if you right clicked it, not only did it turn on, but it let you play a Minecraft version of the game. I think that would be nice. We've obviously got the carousel. Oh, it moves! Oh, that was just a guess. Oh, that's awesome. It'd be cool if it played the music. But yeah. So we're coming round here. we got the ball pit, which you can climb into. Which is awesome. I don't know if it were it'd be awesome if it could like teleport you to the end of the pit stuff as well. Up here, got Chuck E. Cheeses running up there. Some plates of pizza and whatnot. Got what would be the salad bar and a bunch of stuff on the shelves. Kitchen area. Right here is the prize corner. You can see, collect, collect your prize. Got a little secret spring bonnie. Up there, you got like what would be the menu. It's got the food and drink listed. Happy birthday sign. It's so hard to make this a one-to-one, -one, and I realize that now because of the fact that 
there's a lot of content that doesn't exist uh, in the game yet. So I've had to work with certain things. I do wish these lights were brighter, um, but it's okay. Got the, the cut out of Freddy here, and the restroom sign, the vending machine, an event that should work and actually take you round to the office, but I can't go in there. I just know that the animatronics should be able to. I did build a little kitchen, which you don't actually see in Return to Freddy's, but here it is, and I've included Golden Freddy, because Golden Freddy is my favourite animatronic. Um, but yeah, we'll leave here. Do the vending machines work? No. There's the gang on stage, that famous shot looking in. So up here you can go into one of the booth sections. I don't think you can sit on the chairs either, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. This is really, really cosy looking, got a nice view out the window. Come back down. And then obviously you've got all the tables and chairs and whatnot for the um, the main area where the kids would be sitting if they're not with family or whatever. Here they are. I did use Unwithered Foxy just to match the legs. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on my version, um, with Return to Freddy's, Foxy still has his legs intact. Um, he's just dancing up there. Got Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. We've got the exit just here. Obviously you can't leave. You know, like literally in night one, you couldn't leave. Chico was stood there, and then we ran into here, where we have the endo, Chico's head, a little secret Fredbear head in the corner. You've got Freddy head, and then you got the Spring Bunny costume as he appears in the first episode. And this would obviously be the vent, but I didn't connect it because I don't really know if there'll be the animatronics will be able to get to there. But if if they can, maybe you guys can adjust this map however you want. I'd be interested to see how you guys spice up this interior or any videos like VHS style videos that use this map. I think that'd be cool to see some FNAF, Minecraft, VHS. Um, up here, you see it's a showroom. And over there, it's a security. But first, with the, the women's bathroom. See the toilet here. I really thought the toilet was going to flush for a second there. You got the sinks and what should be a mirror. Uh, come around into the men's, got more of a colourful floor just to differentiate it. Um, and then obviously you've got the toilets here, same as before, just reversed. And here it is, the room you've been waiting for, the office. So you've got the shelves stacked here just to make it taller, the rubbish all over the floor. We've got the clock because I couldn't put it on the desk, so I wanted to include the clock. Um, and it's perfect, there's a digital alarm clock just like in uh, Return to Freddy's, got the the fan stood on like the tacky box. I even included a little brother plushie just to reference uh, real, um, FNAF in real time. Oh wow, I did not expect that to happen. Just to reference FNAF in real time. Uh, really love their stuff. I've worked with them before and I just thought it was a nice little Easter egg to include. Um, got some the posters on the wall and whatnot. And yeah, I've even got the vent. You can shut the vent, it normally should be shut, but obviously in the last episode, which was episode two, for those who are watching in the future, he does open it, and he himself is able to crawl through there, but it also adds a little gameplay mechanic, you know, shutting the door on the whatever animatronic possibly can come through here. Um, you've obviously also got the double doors, so basically what I mean by that is the normal door, and then on the inside of that you have the door shutters, just like in the official map. Close that, and then close this. But yeah. I'm absolutely loving it. There is no light system. This light would be the thing that turns on that, but I can't connect them for some reason. But that would just be the regular light switch to turn on the office light. As the shining down the hall, there was no light installed. You just use your torch. Um, the whole idea of my Return to Freddy's map is it's very primitive. It's very much early days for the company. You know, they haven't really invested in the whole, like, protect the, protect the staff. And I feel like the FNAF 2, they get better with the Freddy head trick. And that's about it and winding the music box but then FNAF 1 which comes in like the the 90s or late 80s is exactly where you have the whole double door system and it's proper industrial and it runs on the generator but yeah I'm gonna set it to I'm gonna set it to midnight and these guys should theoretically be able to run around I don't know what Golden Freddy's gonna do which is what scares me here but uh let's just give it a quick go okay so we're gonna start our shift I would walk around, but I feel like they immediately will become active. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh god. Did I do it right? Yeah, I did. It says 11 for some reason. I don't... 
All the lights have gone out. This is terrifying. Guys? Okay. It does just say 11 on the clock for whatever reason. I don't know if there's any sounds. I want to... I'm so scared. I want to leave the office, but... I don't want to just get attacked. Let's go. I wish I had a torch. I tried looking for, like, a torch or, like, a flashlight in the mod pack. Oh, are they roaming? Oh, 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 oh. I heard that. That scared the life out of me. That was very loud. <laughs> Bonnie's coming down. Oh. oh, I hate this. This is actually scary, but now you guys can roll. Wait! Oh, oh, oh. Well, so do they leave, or is he just there now? I don't see anyone coming through the vent. There isn't a power system that you can hook this up to. That would be a cool addition to the mod. If you could, like, hook everything up so it's like you, you use a certain amount of power and then everything shuts off. But is he still going to be there? He's just there. It would be cool to see someone use the, the vent here. But yeah, this is the Return to Freddy's map, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, I'll put the download with the mod pack in the description below so you can enjoy it for yourself, however you like, change it up, whatever. I'm just gonna probably die to Bonnie here. <laughs> First tie fight, that's very nice. Oh, and we do spawn really far away, so you guys are gonna wanna use creative mode to get back there. I don't know the command to reset spawn because it never usually works for me. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.